On the 4th of March, E.ON suddenly released some news that hit us Bond fans like a brick through a plate glass window. And just like any other Bond fan, I was... Proper gutted. I was gutted. Thinking of the possibilities that could have been. I I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel it in my gut. Why did it go so wrong? The word gutted is appropriate. I'm seriously gutted. Pretty damn gutted. So I've been receiving a lot of messages these days from fans asking me how I feel about the delay and whether or not I was going to do a reaction to it. My reaction really isn't any different to any other Bond fan. I'm as devastated as any of them. And when this tweet hit, you could really feel it. The heartbreak that you felt here, you knew that everyone across the Bond community felt this way. And it's hard to describe if you're not a Bond fan, how much of an impact this has on you for a film to be delayed from April to November. But we've been waiting for so long for this film. It's been almost five years uh, and it was initially going to be uh, released in November 2019, which already was very late uh, coming after 2015. Then it was going to be uh, February 2020 then April 2020. Now, it's November 2020. Hopefully, that's the last delay. It sucks because a lot of us Bond fans made some major plans. Me, for example, I booked my plane ticket way back in January to go see this movie in London. I booked my hotel, paid for all of it, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go to London to see this film Hey, I've got a YouTube channel, maybe some guys actually know me and I'll get to see it with other Bond fans. Let's just have fun and we'll see uh, what we run into. And then Kelvin Dyson actually got in touch with me too, to see it together. It was going to be a lot of fun. Then uh, the founder of the Facebook group, Shaken Not Stirred, uh, Matthew, contacted me and invited uh, Kelvin Dyson and me to go ahead and attend an event that included a screening of No Time to Die, but also a city trip of various film locations of the Bond movies in London, uh, a Q&A with two special guests from No Time to Die, and an evening event including a Bond quiz, and all of this was going to be held uh, together with a good 30 other Bond fans that included me and Calvin Dyson and even three of my uh, Patreon supporters. I was hyped to go do that. I could not wait. So I contacted Matthew. I even said, you know, I want to be there. Um, it was, it happened to be on the day that I arrived in London too, but I arrived way too late. So I changed my plane ticket to arrive there a couple of hours earlier, paid a lot of money for that as well. But I was so up for this and then I sent a message to Matthew thanking him and joking like, hey, hopefully Corona doesn't come and spoil the party. <laughs> uh, and then it did. It really, it, it hurt. And not just because you spend all this money on it. It's hard to describe, but when you're so excited for this, when you're doing a countdown, I actually been doing this Bond Film of the Week series to count down to No Time to Die. Guess that can now go in the trash. It kind of hit me. A couple of hours later, when it kind of sank in, I was like, you know what? I can be all down about this. There's nothing I can do. Hey, I'm just a YouTube guy. What do I know? There's no influence to be had here. All I can do is take it, pay the price and hope for the best. And I like to think, at least in my experience, I have a positive mindset. So I was like, let's get back to the positivity here and not let this Corona thing ruin the party. So what I did is I'm still going to come to London. The Shake and Not Stirred event, it's still going to continue. We're not going to see No Time to Die yet. That's not possible, but we're still going to do the city trip. We're still going to do the Bond quiz. We're still going to be there with Calvin Dyson and three of my Patreon supporters who all are still coming. Even one of them that's coming from France, he's also coming. And I was like, you know what? Let's just still go to London and let's also go to London in November. Uh, which kind of sounds like I have tons of cash, which is far from the truth. But when you live in Holland, uh, it's not that much of a price to fly to the neighboring country. So November, I'm going to be back to watch No Time to, to Die. And you know what? 
Maybe we can do it even bigger than we were already going to do in November. Maybe we can get even more people together than me and Kelvin Dyson. Maybe more major players from the Bond community can all be there together on the day in London in November. Let's all see it together, get as much of you guys there as well. Uh, more of my supporters, more Bond fans, more fun and let's just do it even bigger. It's still a long wait to No Time To Die. We were this close to seeing it and it hurts to say that it's now another long wait. It's also so hard to believe after all the marketing that's been going on. The Billie Eilish song has been released, the posters everywhere, the Heineken bottles, the on the, the train station here in the Netherlands they had this whole James Bond experience where you could film yourself in front of a green screen. All of that crap seems to be for nothing now, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know, it's an economic decision. It's understandable when all these cinemas in China have been closed down. We have to deal with this corona crap, but let's not have this corona crap spoil our party, you know, we, we have to be positive about it. That's kind of the message I want to get across, because at the end of the day, we're Bond fans and we're gonna be seeing this movie regardless. Hopefully this year. <laughs> so that Bond Film of the Week series I've been doing, these supporters have been really creative about it and you know some of them even visited Bond locations just to send in their reviews. Some of them come up with the most creative sketches just to send in their views on a particular movie and regardless if some of the viewers may not enjoy the series I've been doing too much, I think it's a great way to give back to those that support me and my supporters have requested me to continue that series even though it's not really a countdown to No Time To Die anymore. It's only four movies left. I'm gonna be uh, uh, finishing that series and uh, get my ass to more Bond content because like David Saritsky said, to us Bond creators it's kind of our duty to entertain you guys in between Bond films and even though the movie had only been away for three weeks, now it's away for eight months. We kind of have to fill these gaps and get, keep you guys entertained. And I'm going to be one of these people to continue doing that regardless. Because, hey, it's our hobby. We have to talk about it. We have to continue this stuff. I hope all of you guys aren't too down about this delay. Um, let's try and remain positive about it. We have to, you know, I've seen a lot of people we're kind of done with Bond, we're kind of done with this whole Corona thing and hey, I can completely understand but we have to try and not be too down about it because there's nothing we can do. So at the end of the day guys, hopefully you guys are a little bit more inspired and let's just uh, go ahead and all go and see this movie in November. If you can make it to London, come to London. We'll see how that goes, November is still far away, but hopefully we can get even more people together and uh, see it all. I, I mean, to me it would be an honor to not just be with Calvin Dyson, but with many other guys within this Bond community and really make it like the event of 2020. So that's it for uh, my little reaction guys. Stay safe, uh, try and remain positive and uh, hope to talk to you guys again soon.